What's up guys? It's another video where I talk to a camera. Yay! So yeah, I'm going to talk tech again and I'm going to keep the one take rule to make my life easier again. Because I'm just lazy and I don't want to edit. So today I'm going to talk about something that is coming out today. Well, like going on sale today, which is the iPhone 6. And I'm also going to talk a bit about Apple Watch, just because they were re released together. So yeah, let's get started with the iPhone 6. And the most, I guess, talked about thing is the new displays. So, obviously everyone should know that they've moved up to a 4.7 inch display for the iPhone 6 and a 5.5 inch display for the iPhone 6 Plus. Which, I know a lot of people are probably going, Oh! Apple's doing what they're doing best again, which is taking something that already exists on the market and then selling it and then presenting it as if they created it. And no, that's not how you should think about it. I know, yes, like bigger screens have already been on the market for like forever, but I think because Apple has finally moved up to larger screen sizes, it means that they're finally admitting defeat to Android and other phone thingies because they thought they could keep the market at 4 inches and 3.5 inches and well they failed to do that and everyone is moving up to larger screens now so instead of leading the industry Apple is now following it which I guess they've done for a long time but now this is probably like the first time they they've like admitted defeat so yeah Another thing that shows that they finally admitted defeat is NFC. Apple was like committed to not putting NFC on their phones, yet the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus both have an NFC. So they can use Apple Pay, I think it's called. So yeah, I think that we should look at this more positively. Apple is admitting defeat to Android, because Android is better. Well, I guess Apple is good too, but... I guess I like Android better, so yeah. And speaking of the screen, something that is really, really stupid, I think, is that they've, they're now calling their displays Retina HD displays. Which I think even when Phil Schiller said it himself, he seemed to like try to skim that over that part as fast as possible. He's like, uh, yeah, we're moving up to Retina HD display, displays. Let me skip this part, please. Let me skip it. So yeah, I think... It's a really, really cheesy name, but sure, Retina HD it is. And, uh, I guess, obviously the quality of the screens are still great, they're just bigger sizes. And so yeah, Apple, basically the fact that they've moved up to larger screen sizes means that they are admitting defeat to Android. And so, yeah. So next up, we'll talk about design, which is also a big change. Basically, the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus now look like the iPod Touch 5th generation. They're basically the exact same. And the thing about the iPod Touch 5th generation is that it has a protruding camera. Which sucks. It sucks. I hate it when the camera is sticking out of the back of the phone. Like, even Samsung phones, it comes out a bit from the back. So yeah, I really, really don't like it. I wish that they kept what they did with the older generations, which is where it's just completely flat, flat backed. Just make the phone a bit thick, thicker. It doesn't really make a difference. You can't actually feel like a 0.3 millimeter difference in your hand, can you? I can't, and I'm sure like 99% of the population can't. So yeah, just make it the 0.3 millimeters thicker so that the camera doesn't stick out. And you can even add like more battery or something. Which, Apple already has pretty good battery on their devices, but if they could get like an even larger battery in, they could do even more marketing, which is what Apple is good at. And they can say, oh my god, the iPhone 6 now lasts for a full three days. Which wouldn't happen, but who cares. That'd be pretty cool. And... Finally, we're just going to talk about the camera, because Apple has decided to keep their 8 megapixel camera. And yes, I know, they now have their focus pixels, which is supposed to be better. But the thing is, uh, 
everyone is complaining that Apple didn't like ki uh, uh, kick up the megapixel count. Well, they don't need to. Like Apple's camera is already a really good camera on their phones, and some like many people even prefer Apple's eight megapixel camera over like other thirteen megapixel or like sixteen megapixel pixel cameras. Cause I guess it's not all about megapixels, guys. It's also about other things, and Apple is good at making putting good cameras in their smartphones. So yeah, and then some extra things: the processor, A8 and M8. I really wish that Apple would like give us specifications on their processors, but they've never done that, so that's not gonna happen. And iOS 8 people, I'm gonna say the same thing that I say about and uh, like Android skins, which is if you don't like iOS, don't watch a video that has iPad or iPhone in the title because you know that the device is going to have iOS so you might as well just not watch the video so yeah so now that's the iPhone 6 I'm going to talk about iPhone uh, Apple Watch now not iWatch, Apple Watch and one of the first things that stood out to me about the presentation was when Tim Cook said we've been working on this for a long time and this is what I think about it. Apple was the first to like create laptops and like all-in-one computers. And Apple was also the first to release a phone with a multi-touch display or whatever the official name is called. Basically touch screens. And they were also the first to release like tablets or I think they were. Like the iPad wasn't it like the first 10 inch, 10 inch tablet or whatever. Maybe it was the first tablet ever. I don't know. But something like that. But the thing with smartwatches is that many smartwatches have already come out before Apple has released their Apple Watch. So Tim Cook, back to his quote of working on this for a long time. He's basically trying to, well, he's basically, I guess, kind of embarrassed that Apple wasn't the first to release a smartwatch. And he's trying to say that, oh, yes. Along with all the other things that Apple have created, we also were the first to create a smartwatch. But this time it's not true. This time smartwatches have already come, been out for like a year, well more than a year. So, yeah, Apple this time is not leading the industry anymore. So, yeah, that's what I think. Apple is pretty embarrassed, kind of, maybe. So, yeah, now let's talk about the watch. Who cares about Tim Cook. Uh, no offense to Tim Cook. Tim Cook is awesome. I love the way he talks. He's like, and yeah, and yeah, and wah. That's what I. That's my impression of Tim Cook. So, Apple Watch. The design. Obviously, it's Apple, so Apple always has great build quality. And I'm gonna like not talk about the square smartwatch versus circle smartwatch argument. Because obviously a lot, lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and a lot more people like circular smartwatches like the Moto G and LG's uh, G Watch R that's coming out or whatever. So, well, so yeah, we're not going to talk about square versus circle smartwatches. Apple created a square smartwatch. I would have liked a circle smartwatch personally, but yeah, if they're going to do square, you might as well let them do square smartwatches. So... I personally, I don't know what it is about the Apple Watch, but I, I don't like the design myself. Obviously, it's good build quality and it's like seamless and whatever. And like the display meets the like frame of it. But I don't like the design. Uh, other people will have different opinions, obviously. So if you like the design, that's your thing. I don't like it. So yeah. Yeah. So next, we'll talk about the interface which everyone is kind of well there's like a big like split whatever between what people are thinking about it cuz what well, the big thing is the digital crown the like knob on the side of the watch that is supposed to let you zoom in and zoom out and like move around things and some people hate it some people love it and I think that well first off we need to test it out cuz you don't know how easy it is Apple is saying that Pinching and like scrolling is not meant to be used on a watch. So, well, we'll wait till Apple Watch comes out and then test out. Go to an Apple store and test it out, 
and you'll just see if you like the digital crown or not. Before it comes out, don't say anything about it, people. It might work out really well for all we know. So yeah, and the last thing I want to talk about is customizability. So first off, there's obviously, they have two iWatch size, iWatch, Apple Watch sizes, just like iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. And there's also the three variants, uh, Apple Watch, and I don't remember them, Apple Watch Sports or something, and then Apple Watch Edition. So yeah, so I guess Apple Watch is just Apple Watch. Sports one is for like running and exercising, and the addition is for like the rich people who can afford watches made out of real gold and stuff. So yeah, and there's also the the many different straps that Apple are releasing, which is great. Apple is trying to allow you to customize your watch how you want it, which is good because usually. Well, let me think about this. Yes, I don't think Apple really lets you customize your things much, do they? So yeah, they're finally allowing some bit of personali personalization of what you want. So yay. So those are my thoughts of the iPhone 6 and the Apple Watch. iPhone 6. Apple is admitting defeat to Android. Yes, people, that should be the headlines on the news for tech. Apple is admitting defeat to Android. Beat that. So yeah, and Apple Watch, we have to wait till it comes out. That's all I have to say. So yeah, I think this is the end of my second video where I talk to a camera. If you've never done that before, you should try it out. It's kind of weird, kind of freaky, I don't know. The camera could be stalking you or something. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.